for the record. A working visit to the Parliament of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago by a delegation from the National Assembly of Zambia, January 30th to February 3rd, 2023. The role of the deputy clerk um, in charge of administration, uh, the deputy clerk works under the supervision of the clerk of the National Assembly. The clerk of the National Assembly is the chief executive officer of the parliament it means that the deputy clerk administration works under the office with the supervision of the clerk. So in terms of um, the actual work that we do, the clerks uh, provide um, procedural advice to the house as well as um, running the day-to-day -day activities of the parliament. So when parliament sitting, the deputy clerk in charge of administration is part of the clerks that accompany the, the clerk in the house to support with the procedural advice. So when parliament is in session, the clerk pro is the chief executive officer, is the chief procedural officer that provides advice to the house. So from time to time, depending on the matters that come before the house, the clerk gives advice to the speaker and the whole members of the house. So the role of the deputy clerk is to support the work of the house um, by providing a support to the clerk as she provides or he provides advice to the whole house. Other than that, other than the procedural advice to the house, the, uh, the deputy clerk also helps the clerk in running the activities of the National Assembly. So the deputy clerk administration is in charge of, those of all those departments that provide support services in terms of administration of the National Assembly. There's a lot that we've learned here, both in terms of programming, in terms of the administration of this, um, this assembly. So when we go back home, what we are going to do is to compile a report of what we've learned here. One of the activities that we are currently doing is revisions of the standing orders of the National Assembly. So we are going to do a report that will help us to revise that document so that we enhance service delivery to members of parliament. I would like to take this opportunity to thank um, the Parliament of Trinidad and Tobago for providing us this opportunity to come and learn. I also would like to thank all the staff that have brought in a lot of uh, support services to bring this a visit um, to Trinidad and Tobacco to be uh, a success. For the record, for more information, visit our website at ttparliament.org and follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram.